accidentally hit not record. That's okay. That's we'll good. Is there a dragon in this game? You know, I don't know if there's a dragon in this game or not. To be honest with you. If there was a dragon in this game, then this game really did copy Skyrim. I mean, it didn't necessarily copy Skyrim, but I mean, it does copy a lot of open world games if you want to look at it that way. So, why does it say amiibo in the the screen? Because you can put in amiibos. You can you can use Don't amiibos. Don't use amiibo. That's cheating. No man, like I actually wanted you to bring your Link amiibo so that I could get uh, Epona, but I think that's later in the game. So oh, no, I'm gonna no, have no, to hit no. you up later. Why don't you just go? all right? Go on. Want me to start playing? Yeah, I'll start playing. Alrighty. What what is all this? <laughs> what? Uh, these are all your auto saves. Oh, they, it auto saves. It auto saves. It's an open world game. It's kind of weak. No oh, man. Like, does it save over it? Uh, I'm not sure if it actually saves over it. I would say, but it does. I mean, it does save. Also, there's battle tips. By the way, loading's pretty quick in this game. Rumor has it. No, so fast. I even get to hear. Oh the rumor. yeah, because I because I hit a. <laughs> oh okay, I was just like. Rumor has it, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, it's some epic quest, and it's like, oh, it's gone. You never know now. You know, it kind of has that whimsical kind of thing. I guess you want to look at it that way. All right, so uh, go fight the Ganondorf right now. Um, Where is he? Go fuck. Go mess him up. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Why not? I thought, it I thought it was open world. I thought you could just go straight to Ganondorf if you wanted. Nah, I don't think it works that way. Oh. Anyway, I'm over here on this plateau thing. I'm just taking a look at the... The lay of the land, you know. Is that uh, what's that? That's a, that's one, Lord of the Rings, Saruman. Is that Saruman? That's one of those. You know, you said Lord of the Rings, and I'm like, oh, you must have played that game. But it's actually, it's actually one of those towers that you can like fast travel to within the game. Oh. And uh, that Shadow Mortar game has them. So, like I said, it just kind of picks all the best parts from like every single open world game, and just makes it like dope. Well, it is Nintendo, so. It is Nintendo. <clears throat> you no, know, I feel that. Link and Zelda, the Zelda games, like, you know, that's. It's not Mario no more. It's like, they rely on Link now and Zelda. They do, yeah. I think a lot of their marketing actually has to do with Zelda and the series and yeah, stuff like so that. Yeah, so it's like, you know, before it was like Mario, but now, in this day and age, and this new. Millennial time, it's just gonna be about Lincoln Zero going forward. I think so. Alright, so I'm actually going to cook. Is that a heart? Yeah, it's a heart. Can you eat it? Yeah, you can eat it. Oh, I have I have some already. That's pretty metal. Yeah, you can eat a heart. Uh, I'm gonna hold this, and where is my spices? There we go, and um, the mushroom. Like, do you have to eat? Like, is that like essential? No, the pepper. Do you have to eat? Yeah, like, do you have to, like... You know, you you get bonuses. The reason I'm cooking right now is because... It's dinner time. No, it's not that it's dinner time. Oh. It's, um... Oh, what? A mushroom skewer? That isn't going to give me any kind of extra. All right, no. I'm going to have to cook again. All right, so I'm just going to do the mushroom, the pepper, and some spices. There we go. And we'll cook that. Can you just do that right now? I added two mushrooms by accident. Oh, so that was my folly. That was my bad. Alright, so you notice I got spicy steamed mushrooms. So it gets you cold, le low level cold resistance for oh, three okay. minutes and 30 seconds. So I need that because I'm about to cross this bridge over here. It's cold. Yeah, it looks cold. So, gonna have to go ahead and get some cold resistance. You can also use. The torch to keep yourself warm, but can I'm you not set yourself on fire. You sure can. Oh, you really can. Yeah, <laughs> I, was just, yeah, yeah. I was just joking. <laughs> I mean, you sure can, but you don't want to. I also have um these uh these cool things like stasis. We got like dead space stasis. No way. And we got magnetism like half life. Like two. Magneto, I guess. So you got Magneto. You saw seen Logan, right? Nope. Oh nice. Oh, oh man, you missed out. Oh no, what is that? A uh, skeleton. Oh, uh, okay. okay. They're, they're pretty tough. No, they're not. I I can wreck them. So I just need to just need to get my stuff, man. All right. So I got two torches. I'm gonna okay, need... beat them with uh 
and use a claymore. Can you beat him with a, a torch? You know what? I haven't tried it. But I'm willing to bet you can't because the game is actually pretty unforgiving at the earlier levels. But yeah, you see, I just wrecked that dude. What is going on? <laughs> Uh oh, he's got he's got a stave so you can fend fend off fend me off for a little bit. I was like, you said stave. I was like, that's 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 a stick. That's not even a, it's a stave. It's a, that's clearly a stick. No, it's a stave. Go back, go back and look at it. Let me get these that looks turtles. like a stick to me. It's a spear. See? Mm, I don't know, man. I only know a stick when I see one. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. I know what it is. Oh, oh nice. All right, so you see, like, I was losing health very quickly because I... No, I got wet! <laughs> no! <laughs> you should have used your mag magnetism. I should have. I was an idiot. Like the power of Magneto, who's a mutant. Logan's a good movie. Did you say a mutant? Um, yeah, I did. How was How was Logan? It was a great movie. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, well. I'm really interested in seeing it. It's usually the uh, best superhero movie ever made, besides Civil War. Easily. What about what about Iron Man one? Mm, man, Pete, that's like it's like number six now. It's such an old movie. Number six. It's like number six in the top ten. Mm, I don't know. Iron Man. All right, so I'm also going to switch over back to oh, magnetize Magnuses or whatever. All righty, so I'm just gonna wait for these skeleton dudes to pop up. So, what if they don't? You know what if they don't? If it's like Skyrim, you know, however, like everyone says, they might not even pop out. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. See, they were waiting. Oh, okay. You, you got him. You got him. Yep. I think so. Yeah. Watch, Watch out me. for that stick on the other guy. By the way, uh, all of your weapons have a certain set amount of durability, so they're gonna break. They're gonna break eventually. Okay. That reminds me of something. Okay. Yeah. It reminds me of that movie, uh, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. You remember when? Um, you know, Robin Hood fought Little John, and you know he oh, keeps dude, breaking what? the he's breaking the the spear, and they just keep fighting until it's just like a nub. That's what that reminds me of. No, I actually don't remember. That. You don't remember that? I haven't seen that movie since ever. Easily. Oh, see, I'm dying. I'm dying of, of <laughs> I'm dying of, of coldness. I have to eat the spicy mushrooms here, or spicy steamed mushrooms. <laughs> oh my. God, he looks so, like, in in pain. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man. This is some real Zelda stuff, so we're just gonna push it onto there. Nintendo's really, like, marking out to new territory with this game. <laughs> Seriously, man. Alright, so I'm gonna check these things right here. By the way, you, you climb at, like, the most opportune times ever, so, like, the game's always trying to let you climb. Like, if you wanna climb this, you can probably climb this. I climbed a mountain the other day just so I could get to another portion of the map. So basically what you're saying, it's like a Metal Gear Rising, except instead of cutting, you're climbing. You know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> so, I mean, you just say, like, you climbing is essential, and, you know, Metal Gear Rising, you know, cutting is essential, so, you know. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put it that way, I guess. Okay, you know, I'm not just not so eloquently put, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. All right, fair enough. All right, so what we're doing is we're climbing this mountain over here. We're actually just walking, walking up it, walking up a mountain, walk walking up it. That, no, uh, hiking, hiking, hiking. Yeah, hiking up this mountain. One cannot simply walk up a mountain. You would have to technically be hiking. Anyway, we're going up this mountain over here because I'm gonna get to these shrines. So each one of these, like, thingies over here that I have so far, I've gotten from shrines. So that's where we're going. We're going to another shrine. That That's one right there. What, that, that orange that, thing? That thing right there. That's, an, that's a shrine. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was a lava golem. You know, I fought a stone golem. So what you're saying is there probably is a lava golem. More than likely, I would okay. say. All right. So only got a minute and 45 to get over here. So how big is this map, do you reckon? Oh, uh, how big? Yeah, like how big? You know, it's not super big. Oh, dang it. Is that a pig? No, that is a bokoblin. What? A bokoblin. A bokoblin? Yeah, a bokoblin. So I have to see how your claymore is badly damaged now. Yep, it's gonna break. 
Yep, yep. There it goes. There it goes. All right, so I threw my torch over here. I need to go get it. Well, what, why did you throw your torch? I accidentally threw my torch. Oh, in. I thought you were just... I meant to do this, but I didn't. Thought you were trying to do some next level gameplay. No, unfortunately not. All right, so that's for the bows. And I keep forgetting like how to like go back to your regular weapons. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, here we go. Uh, torch. So, torch. So I'm going to take this meat. What are we going to do? That's like their dinner. They probably like... Well, they're dead prepare, now. They pro well, yeah, you ruined like their nice dinner. Well, I mean, they were asleep. It's even worse. Like, you just killed them in their sleep. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I thought that was ice too. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I don't feel like an idiot now. <laughs> so I'm getting to these uh, shrines. This is the Ken Mammoth Shrine. Ken Mammoth? No, I'm just kidding. Ken... Are you sure? It's it, was like, it was like K Namu or whatever. So all K Nabu. Gotcha. Sure, why not? So we're eating all these shrines so we can get in there and um, you know, just kinda get in there, you know? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you get the things that I've been talking about, like the stasis and all that other stuff. So oh, okay, so mutant powers? I guess if you want to call them that, sure, yeah. Why not? I cannot stress how good Logan is. Go see it if you haven't seen it yet. Jesus. Okay, man. We get it. <laughs> Logan's a good movie. Does this gonna... have anything to do with Zelda? We're playing Zelda? I was oh. kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of them say this. It's like some pretty heavy-handed stuff. Like, hey, man. In the name of Helia. By the way, you have a tablet in this game? What? Yeah, you have a tablet. This no, this they put a little bit of sci-fi into this, like no. a little bit what? too much mysticism mm. in there. So where does this fit in the Zelda timeline? So I could like get mad at the at I, the Zelda. I don't know, but you start Zelda. off like you've been asleep for a hundred years, so there's technology now, and then the technology like eventually staved off and. Stuff happened. There was like a great war, and you were fighting these robots, and then the robots kind of took over everything. And so what you're saying is, this is kind of like Samurai Jack coming back to Adult Swim. <laughs> kind of. Oh man, we never played Samurai Jack, and it's just back pretend to you're just pretend you're Jack right now. Just get a sword and just pretend you're Jack. All right, yeah, I guess. So we can do some freezing here. And I assume you can just climb on this. Yep. Shouldn't that like. Dude. Shouldn't that d do damage to yeah, me? I don't know. Yo, your coat is just wearing off. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Oh, look at that! Oh, I did it by accident. Yeah. I thought you did it on purpose. No, I did it by accident. That was so smooth. I was gonna actually... Uh, uh oh I was actually going to um, see if I could climb over there. Oh! I forgot. These guys shoot. They're like super... Come here. You telling me there's lasers in this game? There's lasers in this game. <laughs> What's going on? Like I don't know, but I tried to, I tried to juke. But all right, kid or squid, who you got? Well, I'm a kid, so I just won. Oh, okay, well that was, that was some, quick. That was some quick fighting. It's quick splatooning right there. Splatooning. Splatooning. Is all that right. what you call it when you're playing competitive splatoon? I don't know, maybe. All right, so I'm just gonna, yeah, where are we at? Okay, so freeze here. Freeze, don't move. All right, like No, man. not like me. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna freeze over here. How are you gonna get up, though? I don't know. Figure it out. You can climb. Oh, okay. Yeah, like like we were saying, just climb everything. Just literally climb everything. It's not letting it's you. Not letting <laughs> it's not letting you. Not letting me climb everything. <laughs> Uh, let me see it. Oh, you can do like a small jump, but I don't think it's gonna work out that way. So, oh, look, you can shatter it. Just, I'll, I'll say, why don't you just climb up one and, oh, there we go. Actually, that, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. There we go. Alrighty. So now we're getting somewhere. But yeah, all of these, um, all these temples so far have just been giving me new stuff to use, like different mechanics. Like, I have bombs also. Let me see where the bombs are. We have remote bombs, so so like they're like C4s or what? Yeah, they're like C4s. You can like throw them, and then you can like boom, blow them up. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, so made it through that one. That was 
pretty quick. quick. That was pretty yeah, quick. Pretty quick. Are they all like that? Uh, most of them have been actually. Some of them a little bit more comple- uh, complex. <laughs> the is overcoming something. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gathering all these spirit orbs because the guy's gonna give me that little leaf that I can fly off of. Is that Zenyatta? I think so. Look, he just gave me an orb. So, yep. is that a Discord orb? Yeah, it looks like a Discord orb. We make a lot of Overwatch references. I mean, it's it's a good game. It is. It's approaching its one year anniversary. Oh snap! It is. Yep. So we better get some Doomfist action. I don't know about Orisa, man. I'm excited for Orisa. Cause she'll protect us. Yep, that's her primary function. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> Who said that? That's literally what she says, man. For real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like when you see like the origin like video, like at the end she's like, "My name is Orisa, and I will protect you." Like protecting you is my primary function. See, look at that. Oh, is that the old man from the other Zelda game? Is there another Zelda game with an old man? I'm pretty sure there's several. Is there really? I don't know, I just see that. You see that slogan? Old man Logan. No, you know, to be honest with you, because he's kind of like a Sheikah. So I'm pretty sure it's Sheik. No way. Or like, what's what's Sheik's like? Like... Impa. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty sure it's Impa in disguise. Yeah, it might be. But first... What am I going to get? Imagine an X on your map with four shrines at the end of each place. Find the spot where those lines intersect. Dude, are you serious? I shall wait for you there. No, I under- you don't understand. <laughs> That's new. I haven't seen him do that. Was he just a ghost the whole time? Maybe he's a Jedi. Maybe he is. Okay, You're freezing, so, by the way. I know I am. You so, look really cold. what I'm going to do is... Uh, Put on pants. No. Oh. I'm wearing pants. Oh. Well, those are like tights. They're not really pants. How do I... forgot how to do the map thing. Oh, yeah. No? Let's do that. Let me see here. Here we go. Alright, so... He said at two points, so there's one. Did he say something about an X? There's an X right there, or is that just there? <laughs> I don't know. There's another shrine. Here's another shrine. Here's another shrine. Maybe the Temple of Time? That's what I was thinking. Let's go check that out. Because if you look at it, that's like the center of all those places. Yeah, see, he like beams me up, Scotty. This game's pissing me off, man. There's, there's just, there should not be technology in this. Like, what? Dude, it's like that know. is that good. This game is like so engrossing. I got it on... When did I say it? When did I get it? Tuesday? Like, or Monday? I, I don't know. I think it was Monday. And like... Since then, I've been playing like just like the beginning portion of it. And I've literally just been walking around just looking for stuff to do. I could have just bought this game on Sunday with the Switch, but I didn't. Did they have switches available? Yeah, they had three, but I I can't do it. Like you know, I can't buy. I can't see myself buying a switch right now because it's this is the only game that's worth it. Based on principle alone, I can definitely tell you that uh, buying it for this game is very much well worth it. I would say. I don't know, man. So wait on that F Zero and Donkey Konga. You know what? I'd be okay if they made Donkey Konga. Yeah, could you imagine they made Donkey Konga, but they put, like, Kesha and Kanye in it? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you see how the game lags quite a bit? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. I mean, not awful, though. Yeah, it's not super bad. It's not, like, game-breaking. Yeah, it it's, it's not enough to pull me out of the immersion, but, I mean, the game does kind of struggle. You know, it's not like a Ubisoft game. Which is another good point, because, you know, that one game came out, Wildlands, and I've completely neglected it to play this game. I got a free copy of that game. You have, oh yeah, you know, I just saw that you had Wildlands. Yeah, I do. I'm actually contemplating on buying For Honor this Friday. Well, if you were going to do that, you should let me know, because Target's going to buy one, get one free, and we can buy two copies, and we can get a game free, so. What game are you going to get free? I don't know, what do you want to get? Um, let's get, let's get something that no one's playing. Like, Titanfall 2. <laughs> Titanfall 2? 
<laughs> well, Titanfall 2 is only 24 bucks right now on Xbox. Oh, that's not worth it now. Just, just buy it all. Well, look, you see, there's some hubbub going on in yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's what, uh, the exact same. I wonder if I should just, should I go through the front door, make it more cinematic, or should I go through the window? Follow your heart. Cinematic it is. Anyway, yeah, there's all these, like, machine things all over the place. There was, like, so basically, what I'm getting at is that this is 100 years in the future, and your technology... Skynet happened, and now you're you're playing the yeah, pretty on. much. You know, what? are I'm, you serious? I was just I'm, joking. Well, I'm actually, you know, yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. So originally, I came over here to pray earlier, and there wasn't all this like hubbub going on. So look, a cutscene. Why do they call them cutscenes? Because it is a cut in the action. Oh, okay. No, I was just like, she can cool. offer me great power. I bet you she's just going to... What should I do? Never I, never mind. Just, just leave. <laughs> I should... Should I do a heart container? Should I do a stamina vessel? I don't know. Man. Flip a coin. Just kidding. I, yeah, I, actually, hand me my coin. Right? That thing right there? That's a coin. Yeah, go ahead and hand me that. What the hell is this? So this is a Yeti coin. Or from the Yeti. Is it the Yeti or the Yeti? The Yeti. So this was my AGDQ coin. So anytime I flip a coin now, it's either kill or save. And I just dropped it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Save the animals or kill the animals. Um, Kill the animals. Alright, kill the animals will be for heart container. Okay. So stamina vessel. That's kind of crappy, but whatever. <laughs> Do you wish to expand your stamina wheel? Sure, why not? This is awesome. This is actually a pretty cool coin. Yeah, dude, it's dope. Uh, I guess I'll put a picture of it in the video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, we're still making videos. Sorry this one took so long to make. We both got sick. We did! We did both we get did sick. Actually I got sick. sick one week, then you got sick another week, and yeah. then... Um, all their stuff, really. Just like personal matters. You got a new car. I did get a new car. So, and, um, or at least new to me, it's a used car. So it's just like all this stuff happened, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll we're back to it. We're back at it again. Like that one, do you remember song? That's a really good song. Is the Dan Daniel back at it again? With no, the no, bands? no. There's actually a song from a day I remember called um, "Right Back at It Again." They're literally it's a song. They they they're not trying them. No <laughs> they really aren't, and it makes me sad. How am I supposed to get up there, old man? Grappling hook. You don't have one, do you? I don't have a grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Climb this at you. Well, I'm just going to climb this pillar. Oh, man. It does actually increase the stamina quite a bit. Not a lot, but... Not a lot. Better than nothing. It is better than nothing. I won't lose my grip if I climb up that really large tower that I did earlier. The way that we started off this video on that really large tower, um, I had like no stamina by the end of that. So, gonna... so how long do you think this game is? Is it like forty hours? You think? I say it's about longer than that. If you follow the main storyline, from what I understand, it can be beat within three hours. Are you serious? Yeah. But then you know. But there's who still... plays Skyrim for the main quest, right? Exactly. <laughs> Nobody plays Skyrim for the main quest. It's all about them side quests. Which I haven't run into yet. It pretty much has all been just been like fetch, like fetch quests. So you're not playing the main quest. You're not playing side quests. You're just playing fetch quests. Pretty much. Now I didn't even know this room was up here to begin with, so I really should start climbing stuff more often. Yeah, you should. I was gonna say, is it weird that I want to make a fetch joke? Look, he he was, king. he was King Hyrule. What? Dude, that's dope. The plot thickens, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Check out his beard. This guy's on fire. <laughs> this guy is on fire. I can actually say that he looks lit, and it wouldn't be bad. <sighs> Man, all of your millennial talk. Oh, he, he's a ghost. Yeah, he's actually talking, too, which is cool, because I didn't know that there was, like, actual voice lines. Just, uh, 
Oh, what was Midna? Like, I don't know, something like that. Probably. Yeah. What about, hey, listen. Ready to hear what happened a hundred years ago? Not really, but okay. <laughs> He's like, no, not really. Like, hundreds of years ago. Like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's called a Calamity Gan Ganon. So, is this going to be long so I can go get some snacks? Mm, I don't know. Actually, this, he's a pig. I think he's a swine, sir. Hey, look, that's the thing from the beginning. So, that's not a dragon, it's a pig. It's a pig, I guess. Hey, look, there's Zelda, there's Link, there's Ganon. And they were saying that, like, stories have been passed down for generations, so... Is this, like... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> this game just pisses me off. With the technology, it's just like, where does it fit in the timeline? I'm just like, ugh. Dude, nah, man. This, this thing is dope. This game's like awesome. I see that they found something beneath. Oh, crap. Yeah, like, huh? <laughs> I think we found something. And like, like, oh, really, Bob? You think we found something? <laughs> it's only a giant. Mechanism. <laughs> the mechanism or a giant mechanical thing? I mean, that's that's why I say mechanism. Because you're a mechanism. Yeah. Alright. Princess with secret power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. So, so Zelda and uh, the Master Sword. Don't forget the Master Sword. Which, by the way, you can get in this game, but apparently it's like super long fetch quests. I heard that, you know, there's, in every Zelda game, there's like a, a stupid way to kill Ganon in each game. I mean, in one game you could kill him with a fishing rod, in another game you could kill him with like, um, a boomerang, you know. I'm sure that there's going to be some cheese in this game. More than sure, I should say. What, what is, oh my god. Look, these are all champions, bro. These are all like the people that were like helping her. There's Link in the middle and there's like four... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the four different races of Hyrule, like the, the Gorgons, the Gorons, my bad. The, and the, the water people. The water people. Um, the two other things. The two other remember. things I don't remember <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Calamity Ganon just came out of nowhere, started activating all these machines. And so he, Chris, he, he activated Skynet. He's they, Skynet. He's Skynet. Yeah. He's activating all of the... The, the machines. All the nukes. Yeah, there we go. Yep. We solved it. We figured it out. We figured it out, yes. I mean, they said Divine Beasts, actually, but, you know, for... They're, they're nukes. Look at that. That's, that's Dude, nukes. check it out, man. It's like Attack on Titan stuff right there. It is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, look, man. They just killed everyone. Some crazy crap. This game isn't pissing me off that much anymore. I'm so I'm still so triggered, but it's just like a little bit more intrigued. But I'm still triggered. Oh, she's calling for Link. Oh, final hope. Like freaking uh, Star Wars. Yeah. So is it called the Last Jedi because? Luke dies too, or Jedi's plural. <laughs> I'm serious though. They actually really just said re some interview person <laughs> recently said that uh, it's gonna be plural. It's plural. No, so there's more than one Jedi. It's okay. Gotcha. It's not a spoiler either because that's from an interview. They could they could just be lying for all we know. They could be. Look, it was me. It was none other, but it was me, Link. Yeah, but you were asleep the whole time. <laughs> Look at you. But then I died. And then they took me into the Shrine of Resurrection. Man, this is crazy. Oh, wait, so that really was supposed to be Link? Yeah. Hundreds of years ago. Yeah, that was Link hundred years ago. <laughs> Princess Zelda's still alive, too. So she's like a hundred years old. She is. But so, then again, so am I. Remember that one part in Civil War? Like, oh, she's got to be a hundred years old, or old by now, and and then Captain America's like, so are we, Buck? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 
pretty heavy stuff, Doc. You know, get it? Because it's time! Back to the future! Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you would say that this is some heavy stuff. I get it. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it. Are you mad? So, wait a minute. Uh, I'm a little even more pissed off now. I'll be, you like I'm, I'm just gonna get more pissed off as this video keeps going because it's like, first it was like Terminator with Skynet, and now I can say it's like Back to the Future because you know, you going back to the future. Yeah, so it's just like, hmm. You know, I'm not sure any other plays have actually gone through the motions of actually going through these because I'm sure they want to be like, well, we want to hear the cutscenes. So, oh look, sending me to Impa. So I gotta go over there. Consult the map on your iPad. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no, hey Siri, how do I get to Kakariku Village? Kakariku Village is located 4.8 miles from your current location. Well, thanks, King. Just give you a paraglider. Yeah, dude. It's dope. Look, press X while you're in the air to use it. Boom, done, the isolated plateau. And I think that's it. I, I told you everything. It. Like, I think I told you everything. Hopefully. I think. I'm not sure. Use a ghost, bro. But Look. I'm pretty sure I told you everything. It was an infinite. Look, it was main quest <coughs> destroy again. And then she got Impa. Ooh, cool. You got two quests. You got pick. Oh! I almost just killed myself right there. Alright, so let's try this uh, thing out. Not bad. It's actually pretty cool. I'm literally flying. You should try to land on that plateau over there. Mm. That little rock? Yeah. You should try. I think you can make it. We'll see. I made it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so check this out. Let me see if it'll work. Well, that's just the bomb. I just wanted to do this. Yeah, well, okay, so what? check this out. Figured this out the other day. No way. So you can go fly? Yeah! <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> that's just... That's just absurd. Dude, it's so freaking... This game's so good, like, all the freaking mechanics and everything else in it are just, like, legit. So it's telling me to go that way, but you know what? I haven't been this way too much in the forest. So I'm gonna climb these trees. <coughs> There's no reason for you to do that. No reason, again. Pretty much, but, you know, since I have it now, it's actually a pretty quick way of actually traveling. So It so literally just gives you, like, a... A split, like a second. No, a man. Time. I mean, like, look, look how slow I walk. Like a boar. Gotta chase it. I need meat. Dang it. Come here. Be cool, man. Just be cool. Wait till it slows down and just go in for the kill. There you go. Just creep. Dude, he's, he's not... Gonna, he's gonna run... What? 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 This game's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, we got these creeps. Oh look, they just killed a boar. Perfect. Hands off. What if that was the same boar and it like teleported? I would be so angry. He he honks the horn. He's not going any. I don't think he sees me. That's some, some pretty dumb. What are they called again? Bokoblin. Bokoblin? Let's see, here we go. Meat! Oh, here's some bones. Might be some skeletons afoot. Yeah, we got arrows now. Why'd you stick the horn? Uh, it's used for materials. Oh, okay. See, look, he heard me. Have to get ready to fight. Oh, now you're now doing some Metal Gear, I see. Yeah, actually, this game kind of reminds me of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 in some ways. I mean, aside from, like, being in the forest and stuff, it's, like, like 
Just so you fought an old man in the end? No. Well, I mean, the old man died, bro. Who was a uh, Who was that one guy in um in that game with the bees? The pain. Yeah, like wasn't he like getting constantly sung like by bees, and then he like be like the pain? But he was just saying the pain because he was getting sung by bees, like because he was in pain. Yeah. I mean, you said that like three times. Such a stupid game, dude. That if game you think about it, it's, it's a stupid game. No, that game is amazing. The villains are are stupid. The villains are great. All right, they are really stupid. You need to shut <laughs> your mouth. That game is amazing. The only good game with the only good Metal Gear Solid game was with um, good villains was um, Metal Gear Solid Rising. Oh my God, Senator Armstrong. I hate you. You know what, Andy? I'm gonna play you like a damn fiddle. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just saying, man. You know, uh, he says make America great. He, he he does say that. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember when I found that out. I was just like, no way, you're lying. And then he played the whole speech, and he says at the end, I was just like, you tell me our president took that took, line, took his slogan from Metal Gear Sol- Metal Gear Solid Rising, yeah. <laughs> like the not even good game, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's a good game. It's just a little ridiculous. It's just not a Metal Gear Solid game. I wouldn't call it a Metal Gear Solid game, no. Alright. So, hey. We've got mechanics to use. I wonder if we can just fly to this. We should be able to. Mm-hmm. Why not, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm screwed now. What happens if you go in there and use I'm pretty sure I'll die if I fall in this pit. Unless you glide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna use the ice. Remember the ice thing? Yeah, I remember now. Alright, cool. So it should work. Wouldn't you know what it does? It's pretty legit. Alright, cool. So, chess. No, oh, oh, ice arrows. That's, that's kind of cool, right? Fire arrows. That is kind of cool. Anyway, we'll go ahead and, uh,. Go over here to the edge of the map where we're supposed to go, and then we'll go ahead and get down to that plateau, and then, you know, we'll call it a day for this video. How about that? That's fine. That's fine. Because I know everybody's, you know, excited about this game coming out this week, or last week, rather. It came out on Friday. Yeah. This is just, like, a short thing. Like, if you haven't played it yet, you kind of owe it to yourself to just go pick this game up. Highly, highly recommend The reviews game. are great. The reviews are great, and I can see why, because, like, man... I've been playing it pretty much non-stop the entire week. Uh, I'm going to use my ice again. Um, oh, okay, you are saying glide over there. I was just yeah. like, like, bro, you can, you're not going to make it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can swim. Yeah, you can swim in this game. Oh, it's like, what What was the point of even that ice? I um, mean, it's to kind of get there in the middle. <laughs> you can also fish. Oh, well, I'm not surprised about that. So have you broken any pots yet, or killed any chickens, or chased chickens? Broken a whole ton of pots, because they're just all over the place, but I haven't killed any chickens yet. So, I'm hoping that the chickens actually do the, you know, the chicken thing. But, no, not really sure. Alright. So here we go. Just gonna get on top of this thing, or her. And wing it. <sighs> I thought you were gonna do that leap of faith from Assassin's Creed. I was just like, alright, you know, screw it. But, you surprised me. You're like, nope, I'm gonna glide. I'm supposed to go that way, but. The wind's taking the other way, isn't it? Or... Yeah, oh man, look at that big dude. Dude, I'm kind of scared. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, alright. Maybe he didn't see you. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm gonna shoot an arrow at him and see how much health he has. You hit him in the nuts. It looks like. T- <laughs> <laughs> he actually doesn't have that much health, so I think I can take I think him. You kill him. Yeah. He's kind of like a giant, you know, from Skyrim. Yeah. Oh. Well. Yeah, he is kind of like a giant. He one like, shot because, like, that's what they would do in Skyrim. They one shot you. All right. Well, I guess that's gonna be part one of our Zelda series. Maybe we'll come uh, back and play it next time. Oh, we'll, we'll play. No, I mean, like you, you know, play play a little bit more, just like bits and pieces. Yeah, as soon as I get more upgrades, you know, maybe we'll start looking at the amiibo stuff and then killing some big monsters. And if people complain about, like, oh, we just skipped over this, I was like, oh, maybe you should buy it. Exactly. Maybe you should buy it and then show us what's what. Yeah, then maybe you should go watch Logan to cry out your sorrows. Yes, everybody should go watch Logan. Anyway, 
I've been Andy. Um, sure, I'm Pete. Whatever. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Pete. I'm no, Andy. I would never be Andy. Why not? Why for? I heard he's a pretty cool guy. Nah, I guess he's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's our little short demo of Zelda. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, on Too Good Inc. Too yes, good, very good. It's it's Too Good Incorporated. Very good. All right, so we won't keep the best parts out of this one.